These little plush pumpkins are so cute, so easy to make and a great beginner's sewing project. Let me show you today how you can make them at home. To make these little pumpkins, we've got some plush material, but you can use any material that you have. We've got some toy stuff in, material scissors. We have a template that we're going to draw around and a fabric pen, a needle and thread, and not forgetting we're going to be using a sewing machine. You can sew them by hand if you want, that's not a problem, whichever you choose. But if you've got a sewing machine, I like to use that. It's just a little bit quicker. First thing we need to do is take our material. When we're using plush material like this, that's a bit stretchy, we need to make sure that we get our pattern on the right way so that the stretch is going in the right direction. So for mine, I want the stretch to pull down. So we're just going to pop on our template and then using my material pen, I'm going to draw around this four times. You don't need to use a material pen, but I like to use the material pens just so that I know that when my plushie is made, it's not going to have any lasting pen marks on it. So we're just going to draw around the shape. When we've drawn around it once, I'm just going to repeat that a further three times to give me the four parts that I need for my plush pumpkin. And there we have the four parts we need for our pumpkin. Now I'm going to cut them out, but I'm not going to cut them out all the way around the edge. I want to leave about a half a centimetre seam allowance when I do this. So bear that in mind. So we're just going to cut around roughly. Now I've roughly cut it out, I'm just going to leave a bit of a seam allowance all the way around the edge and you'll see why in a moment. And when you've done it, it needs to look something like that. Then I'm just going to repeat that now with my other three segments. There we now have our four segments for our pumpkin. While I'm doing the cutting, I'm going to cut out the green part that I need for the stalk. And again, I have a little piece here that I'm going to draw around. So we're just going to draw around that. And then I think for this, I'm just going to fold it in half and cut it that way. And then that'll now allow me just to fold that in half and cut out two at the same time. For the next part, we're just going to use some pins and I'm just going to remove the template and we're just going to pin that together. And then that's going to allow us to sew around it. And then for the pumpkin pieces, we're going to to fold it together right sides together so we can see our outline and we're just going to pin all those together first because we're now getting ready to sew them when they're all pinned together that's how they should look and now we're ready to start sewing so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way along the line that we've drawn there that's the only part we're going to sew first and we're going to repeat that on all four of them and whilst we're sewing we can also sew along the outline of the stalk so that's ready as well either taking your sewing machine or sewing by hand we're just now going to sew all the way along the lines on all the segments This is how they're looking now. They've all been sewn together and it doesn't matter if like this one, it's not even on the line because we're not even going to notice. Next, we need to remove the pins and we're going to open them up. Then we're going to take two of them and we're going to put them right sides together and we're going to try and line up the little seams there. And we're just going to pin them again just to hold them together because we don't want them moving. And this is where the seam allowance is going to come into play because now once you've lined them up as perfect as you can then we're going to sew along one of the outlines and we're going to stitch them together but we're only going to sew down half then we're going to repeat the same with this side so again we're going to open them up we're going to place them right sides together and we are going to pin them and then again, we're just going to sew down half of that one as well. Now we've got both sides stitched up. We can open them up and we can see it's starting to form half of our pumpkin. And again, we've got the same on the other side. Now we're going to do the same again and we're going to line those two up right sides together. And this time we're going to stitch all the way around the outside. Again, just leaving a small space at the top because that's where we're going to fill the pumpkin when it's all sewn. So again, we're just 
just need to be really careful. We want it to look almost perfect. So we just need to line up all of the seams at the top and line up the bottom. And then using the pins, once it's all lined up, we're just gonna hold it in place. And once that's all pinned, we are now ready just to sew all around the edge. I am just going to snip off these long threads so they don't interfere with the parts that I'm going to sew now. So now that's sewn, I've trimmed off the thread, I've removed the pins, and now we're gonna fold it the right way round. And we should have a nice cross at the bottom where we've lined it up. Then now we're ready to take our stuff in and stuff the inside of the pumpkin. We probably want to put quite a bit of stuffing in because the material is stretchy and we want it to look quite a plump looking pumpkin. So don't be afraid to use plenty of stuffing to fill it out. When it's looking nice and full, that's how it should be looking and we should still have an opening at the top. So that's how the top part is looking now once we've filled it and this is where we need our stalk so we're just going to trim around where we've sewn it being careful not to cut through our stitches and then we're just going to cut straight across the bottom then we're going to turn that inside out as well and we're going to pop a bit of stuff in in there and that's how that looks now we have added the stuff in taking some orange thread and a needle i'm now going to stitch a ladder stitch to connect up all the pieces of the top of our pumpkin. You can use a different stitch if you want, but I did find that the ladder stitch was actually the neatest for closing it up. But it doesn't matter if it's not super neat because we are actually going to cover it over with the stalk as well. So it doesn't matter if your stitching isn't really neat. I think the beauty of these little plushes are they're quite forgiving. So if you are only a beginner, then it doesn't really matter because there's lots of opportunities to hide any flaws that you may have in the plushie. So I'm just going to start here now and we're just going to stitch our ladder stitch. If it's helpful you can pin it, it's entirely up to you but we are looking to try and get it as matched up on the top as possible. And that's how it's looking now we've stitched it all up. I say it doesn't matter how neat that is because we're now going to cover that up with our stalk part. So now we're just going to do the same ladder stitch again and we're going to secure that onto the top to finish off our plushie. I'm using a different colour thread, it's more like a silvery colour to sew them both together. So again we're just going to start by doing a ladder stitch all the way around the edge to secure the stalk part to the plush pumpkin. You can use a different stitch if you want, it's entirely up to you. This plush fabric is really good I think for hiding the stitches when you pull them. I do like the plush fabric because I think it is good at hiding the stitches so if you are using plush fabric it shouldn't really matter what stitches you do use and once you've sewn the stalk onto your pumpkin your pumpkin is now complete i really hope you enjoyed my plush pumpkin tutorial if you are interested in making the same plush pumpkin that i've made i will leave the template that i used in the description below so you can print it out and use it to make your own plush pumpkin thanks very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video